BMW South African division recently partnered with biogas producer Bio2Watt that will see the car manufacturer's Roslyn plant obtain almost a third of its electricity needs from green power, converting cow dung into power. Uh, BMW is one of many to use alternative energy to become less reliant on the grid. But with us in studio is BMW's manager for automotive communications, Edward Magwana. Edward, thanks for your time. Uh, caught my attention using cow dung for electricity how does this work so basically this is uh, uh, you know based on our philosophy on sustainability sustainability at the BMW group has uh, been the foundation of all our actions um, so we are partnered with uh, buyer to what as part of our renewable energy uh, strategy uh, to help us uh, generate uh, renewable energy that would power uh, our, Ro our Roslyn plant so with this energy, uh, would, it means about 25 to 30 percent of energy powered uh, or, or plant Roslyn's uh, are powered by th that much of the renewable energy. So on, in say, summer days, we sort of consume about 12 megawatts of power. So meaning if you had to calculate the 25 to 30, meaning three to four megawatts of, of power. Uh, we actually just got the first of that on the 10th of October, mm -hmm. uh, so quite a, a milestone uh, for us. So it's not just a South African strategy. Um, yes. If you look at a, a couple of our other uh, production uh, facilities uh, mm. around the BMW Group network, for example, the BMW uh, plant in Leipzig in uh, Germany. Yeah. So this is definitely in line with what you're wanting to do for a Absolutely. BMW strategy. But is it Absolutely. reliable, uh, renewable energy, using it for your plant? And there's a you know, perception that renewable energy is expensive, so the costs? Mm. It, it is uh, certainly reliable. Um, I mean, if you, if you look at uh, the conventional way versus uh, you know, how it, uh, this, this uh, technology is done, you know, taking organic waste, like you said, like uh, cow dung, and uh, putting it into a, a, a digester, and mm -hmm. uh, out of that you get uh, a form of gas that you then feed into uh, 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 to the grid. Mm -hmm. So, so, so what what you get out of uh, uh, the, the whole process, you feed into the ESCOM grid, and then because our plant is based in the city of Tswane or in the Pretoria, uh, we then get fed uh, that power from the city of Tswane. So the benefit will start seeing the bill at the end of this month. Yeah, uh, okay. So to see the difference as to how we've done it conventionally versus the three to uh, four megawatts that we are now getting from buyer to what. So it's, it's look, it, it may be expensive, uh, you know, from the beginning, yes. but in the long run, I think that's where we'll start seeing, you know, the, the, the low cost and the, 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 the real benefits of, of this technology. When do you think you'll be able to get off the grid completely? Is that in the pipeline? Well, at the moment, if you look at uh, part of uh, the entire uh, average uh, within the BMW Group, we currently get 51% uh, of renewable energy uh, from those plants that I mentioned uh, in Germany and in Spartanburg in the USA. Uh, so we want to gradually move to 100% uh, to get 100% uh, you know, renewable energy at all our plants uh, in the coming years. So we could look at about 2020 uh, to have both, you know, even in Roslyn, uh, being powered 100% by renewable energy. Maybe you could even be a, a, a independent power producer to uh, ESCOM. Is that something that you <laughs> would have uh, looked at or not at all? Well, I mean, this is obviously on the buyer towards uh, side. Yes. Uh, Sean Thomas is uh, the CEO. Uh, so he's had uh, some discussions with, with ESCOM to obviously look at other ways of mm -hmm. uh, you know, helping various other businesses. For example, next year uh, they are going to be setting up a, a plant similar to the one in Brongosprate that produces uh, this renewable energy for in Malmesbury. Uh, so to try and also look at business in the Western Cape as yeah. to how it can work. So certainly uh, there's still a lot of discussions that uh, can take place with uh, the main uh, energy provider. Yeah, going green, that's the future. Thanks so much, Edward. Thank you so much to Edward Magwana, BMW's Group Manager for Automotive Communications. That's all we've got time for, for Fin Week Money Matters. But do remember that you can go and get yourself a copy of uh, this uh, magazine. It is available at your nearest store, but it's also available online. So be sure uh, to make sure that, uh, you get some good reading maybe over the weekend. Well, from the Fin Week Money Matters team and myself, have a great one.